With just 15 days to go before the midterm elections, candidates across the country are making their final arguments to voters. Tonight, all eyes on Florida, where they held their only governor's debate between Republican incumbent Governor Ron DeSantis and former Democratic Congressman Charlie Crist. Crist arguably hit the hardest punch just by asking the governor about his obvious presidential ambitions. Ron, you talk about Joe Biden a lot. I understand. You think you're going to be running against him. I can see how you might get confused. But you're running for governor. You're running for governor. And I have a question for you. You're running for governor. Why don't you look in the eyes of the people of the state of Florida and say to them, if you're reelected, you will serve a full four-year term as governor. Yes or no? Yes or no, Ron? Will you serve a full four-year term if you're reelected governor of Florida? It's not a tough time. question. It's a fair question. He won't tell you. And joining me now is Charlie Chris, the Democratic candidate for governor of Florida. Um, Mr. Chris, uh, the governor seemed a little confused by that question because I think we all know what he wants to do uh, should he win re-election here. Right. Uh, he, he did not ultimately pledge that he would so serve a four-year term, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. You are absolutely correct, Chris. And, you know, the sad part about that is that Florida deserves better than that. I mean, this is a special state, a great place. And if somebody's going to run for governor of it, they ought to at least be willing to serve the term if the people are kind enough to elect you. I, if elected, will serve the full four-year term. Uh, that's why I hope uh, people will vote uh, for our campaign. Uh, you know, I think it's important that we have a, a governor who understands a woman's right to choose is very important and respects it. DeSantis just signed a bill that said that there will be no right to choose in Florida and not even exceptions for rape or incest. It's unconscionable, Chris. The, the bill he signed, which there was a, a bit of exchange about uh, this evening, was, I believe, a 15-week ban, which, of course, would be uh, uh, unconstitutional under Roe. It's only possible under the new Dobbs ruling. Do you think that's a popular position? I, I think Republicans tend to think like, oh, that's the sort of in-between compromise position. What do you think of it? It is outrageously unpopular. And the truth of the matter is the governor's always already indicated he wants to take it further. He wants to have a total ban on abortion in Florida. Why? What I alluded to in the debate, because it's a run up to running for president and trying to win the Republican nomination. He's got to do this crazy stuff to compete with Abbott and other people that are going to be running in 24. Uh, and so that's why it's wrong. Uh, it is very unpopular. It's the last thing women in Florida want and fair minded men, too. I, I've noted something about uh, Ron DeSantis' stewardship of your state, which is that um, in some ways, in a fiscal setting, he's been playing on easy mode, partly because of the largesse of the American Rescue Plan, uh, which gave billions and billions of dollars to state budgets. Um, in fact, the stunt that he pulled where he shipped these migrants to an island in the Atlantic was paid for using money that was made from the interest on surplus federal funds for coronavirus relief. How much do you think it's affected his popularity to have that state money given by federal taxpayers to play with? Well, it can't be very popular at all. Bear in mind, you know, these were Hispanics. Venezuelan specifically in this case, and some Colombians, that he'd lured onto this plane with lies, uh, telling them they were going to get jobs and housing and shelter and all kind of things. Uh, that can't help you in Florida. We, you know, we have a huge Hispanic vote in the Sunshine State. And so if people want to help us, they ought to go to charliechris.com and we can get rid of this guy and have some more decency in state government in Florida, which I think is really what Floridians want and deserve. Why do you want to be governor again? Because I love Florida. It's a great state, Chris, as you, I'm sure, are aware. Uh, and we deserve better. Uh, watching this governor tear Florida apart, he's a divider, not a uniter, breaks my heart. And I know that my fellow Floridians want and deserve better in a, in a governor. You know, your, your tenure as governor and, and relationship to the Republican Party, I now look back as, as a kind of one of those points that, in retrospect, looks quite seismic. Um, in terms of where the Republican Party ended up going and where the state of Florida has ended up going. What do you say to those who look at Florida? They look at Florida elections. They look at returns. They say, look, this is not a competitive state for Democrats right now. It is trended towards Republicans. Uh, and, and that's just kind of the way it is. Well, you got to remember, this guy, DeSantis himself, got elected by 0.4 of 1 percent. Uh, there was a mandatory recount. It was so close. Uh, and, and every one of our governor's races are like that. 
so it's still a purple state. About a third are registered Republican, about a third are registered Democratic, and about a third are independent. So that's the definition of purple. Uh, so I know it's competitive. Uh, in a recent poll, we were down to DeSantis by one point about a week ago. Very reliable polling group. So I'm, I'm excited about the race. I want to give Floridians what they truly deserve. And that is a governor with a heart again who really cares about them. What do you say to, obviously, if you're going to win, uh, you would have to outperform uh, the president's approval rating in the state, for instance. And it was very clear tonight in the debate that Ron DeSantis mm -hmm. was trying to tie you as much as possible to Joe Biden. What do you say to voters uh, who, who are maybe considering a vote for you but, but don't like the president or don't consider them Democrats, self-Democrats, don't like congressional Democrats? What is your pitch to them? Well, I, my pitch is, you know, you know me. I've been your governor before. I served as your attorney general. I served as your commissioner of education. I'm my own man. Listen, I love the president. Uh, he's coming down here for us in less than a week. Um, but this is an election about governor of Florida, not about president of the United States. This is an election about who's going to be sitting in that chair when the Florida legislature stands an abortion total ban uh, to the governor. I'm the one who will veto it. Ron DeSantis will sign it. That's the difference in this election. Florida, vote for what you think you want and what you deserve. Final question for you about the, 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 the election integrity unit that the governor staffed up. We've covered it quite a bit. Um, big announcement, law enforcement behind him. We've seen the <clears throat> body cam footage of those individuals completely bewildered by a state that had told them they could vote and then went to arrest them. What do you think about that? Mm -hmm. I think it's pathetic, and I think it's intentional intimidation. That's as obvious as the nose on our face. And so when the governor does something like that, that is really, when you think of it, Chris, anti-democracy, he's yeah. trying to intimidate from voting by arresting people who have already been given a voter ID card. It's unconscionable. It's, it's shocking. Charlie Chris, Democratic nominee for governor of Florida, a state that he served in many capacities, as you just heard. Thank you very much.